Hey guys, Jared here from Bowling RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Right here we have our 2024 Micro Mini 2108TB. So right here we do have our electric tongue jack. Then we have our propane tanks right here. So it's gonna be two 20 pound tanks in here, but it comes with the 30 pound cover. So if you ever wanna upgrade, all you have to do is get the tanks with the bracket. We do fill these tanks up for free though. Then right here we have our battery slot. Uh, we give you a free battery and a battery box with it. And we got a nice rock guard right here to protect the camper when you're going down the road. Over here, we have the prep for our side observation. So you can get a full observation uh, set up. So you can get a side camera on both sides of the camper with a backup camera, and you'll get a five to eight inch screen you can put inside of your tow vehicle so you can see everything around the camper when you're going down the road. And where they put this, you're gonna see uh, the hatches, the side outs, and everything. And we have our pass-through storage right there. Over on this side, we have our battery disconnect. The rest of our solar system is going to be on the other side. We'll get to that in a little bit. But for the solar on this side, we have our solar on the side plug-in. So if you get a shady campsite or you want to get more panels but you don't want to put them up on the roof, uh, you can get like a 10 to 20 foot cord that's going to plug into the panel, drag it into the sunshine, and then plug it in. Right, and then coming back here, we have our outdoor shower. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot and cold water. And then we have our satellite hookup, park cable, our 30 amp plug-in, uh, our black tank flush, and then our sewer hose connection. And then we got our six gallon hot water tank right here. So going over to the back, we have our bumper mounted spare tire. So this is gonna be underneath the camper. If you're on the side of the highway, you don't have to crawl underneath, try to break off a rusty bolt that's been there for three years. Uh, everything is going to be at waist level, nice and easy to work with. And then we have a hitch right there. If you want to bring some bikes with, some kayaks, maybe a, a generator on a cargo rack, you're going to be able to do that with this camper. And we have our sewer holes holding right here. There's going to be a plug that's going to go onto the bumper right there to hold the sewer holes in there. And then rear mounted ladder, uh, just one less thing to pack. You don't have to worry about bringing one with you, putting it into your truck. That's going to be on the camper. You can clean off your solar panels if you go somewhere sandy and dusty, anything like that. And then we have our prep for a backup camera. So that's going to be the last part of the observation center, uh, but you can just get the backup camera by itself if that's all you want. Coming over here. We have our switches for our electronic stabilizer jacks. Uh, so they are gonna be electric. If you do lose power for some reason, there is a manual override. And then right here, uh, this is a propane connection. It runs up to the tanks up top. If you wanna bring your Blackstone with you, a Coleman grill, set it up underneath your nice awning, you can do that. And it is pretty big awning. It goes the entire length of the camper or as much as they can fit an awning on. You get a LED strip two outdoor speakers and then right here you're going to get your tv backer location so if you want to watch the big game out here some soap operas or drama you can then we have an outdoor spray port so there's going to be a hose that's going to click in here uh, you can rinse off some fish if you're cleaning them before you want to fry them up rinse off your feet before you go inside the camper since they put it right next to the door wash off your bikes anything you you want to do with that hose you can it's a hose then we got some pretty beefy goodyear tires on there uh so they're they're off-roading tires but this really isn't a off-roading camper you can take it down gravel road um pretty much get off the blacktop probably not anything super hilly though and then underneath we do have our heated and enclosed underbelly all right and then coming in here we have the rest of our pass-through storage. If you look in there to the left, there's a lot. Our charge controller is going to be right around here. And then this little angle piece of wood, that's going to be for the inverter prep. So if you want to run uh, some electric, electrical systems just off of the battery, that's the spot where you put that inverter. And then 
looking at these right here we have all of our packages and this is a asdale constructed camper so it's going to be full composite in the walls with aluminum frame all right and then so this is the 2108 tb model tb is going to stand for twin beds so we got a couple of people that get up a lot at night you don't have to roll over each other or just put this halfway in for you guys you get these inserts so this one will go up there because you got the the bracing for it get this piece of wood that's going to go on these rails right here so then make this bed into a king bed got access to the storage right there and this is going to go into that pass-through storage all right so obviously we got the kitchen area right here we do have some nice coloring on the wood kind of breaks up the looks kitchen looks like it's the kitchen area Dinette looks like it's the, the dinette area. Just makes the camper feel really big with having all the colors broken up. Got a lot of storage in this guy. Then we got our sink covers. Comes with two, I'll just bring one out. Uh, covers the sink. Get your drawers right here. Storage right there. Then we got our convection oven up top. So it'll work a lot like an air fryer. Then we got our nice big three burner cooktop. And right here we have our metal blinds. They have to put these blinds here because of the oven. But when you're sitting down at the dinette, you get a really big window for your campsite view. And show you this top drawer right there. And this dinette right here, it is on a step up. A lot of room in here. And the dinette's going to be connected to the wall. So you can slide in and out just fine. Kick your feet around. You're not going to hit those poles and bang up your shins. Then for the rest of the windows in the camper, you get the blackout shades. And then you get storage underneath both sides of the dinette. TV right here with a wireless phone charger. And if you want, check out that outlet right there. So these outlets with these yellow stickers are going to be all around the camper. Like, we got one right there by the door. Both of the ones up by the bed. If they have the yellow sticker on it, and you do decide to install that solar inverter, which we can do for you here, those outlets will run off your batteries. One thing to note about that, though, is whatever you're using, make sure it's 12-volt uh, compatible, not just a regular 110 system. Then we have our big 12 volt compressor fridge. And then get an actual shower, not that corner radial one, so you can actually get in here, stand up, get a skylight right there. Toilet, obviously. A lot of storage back here in the bathroom. A little sink right there. Yeah. So that is our 2024 Micro Mini. Again, my name is Jared here at Bullion RV. If you, if you have any questions, give me a call.